Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the definition of the derivative. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, f of x is equal to the square root 4x minus 5, and we have to find the derivative using the definition of the derivative. Now, <clears throat> we have our definition right here. We have to find our f prime of x, and it's equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of our function right here, the square root of 4, but instead of x, put an x plus h in, minus 5, minus the function itself, square root of 4x minus 5, and that's all over our h value. Okay, well from here, this is a technique. I have an h in the denominator and I don't really like that. So I'm going to multiply this by the numerator's conjugate. A square root of 4x plus h here minus 5 plus the square root of 4x minus 5 all over the same exact thing. 4x plus h minus 5 plus square root of 4x minus 5. And if we know about conjugates, what it's going to do, well, if they're over itself, it's just equal to a 1. If we multiply it out, we're going to get rid of these square roots and we're not have a middle term. That's the whole point of it. So we have the limit <clears throat> as h approaches 0. Multiply it out. The square root gets eliminated, and we're left with just a 4x plus h here, minus 5. And then minus the square root of 4x minus 5, and square root of 4x minus 5 just is a 4x minus 5. Denominator is a little tricky. We leave the, well, it's long, not really tricky, I guess. h is there and have the other part there, square root of 4 times an x plus h minus 5 plus the square root of 4x minus 5. All right, from here, now here's the kind of tricky part. I'll kind of do some work here because I don't feel like rewriting it. Distribute the 4 to the 4, uh, the x and the h. So we have 4x plus a 4h right here. Okay, keep that in mind. Distribute the minus sign, so plus, that's a minus, and that's a positive. Now I'm going to cancel what I can in the numerator. 4x right here, and then minus 4x. They cancel. Uh, the 5s can cancel, negative 5 and positive 5. And so I'm left with just that 4h right here in the numerator. Now there's an h down here. Well, the h's can cancel. <sighs> After all that, we see this. The limit as h approaches 0 of just a 4 in the numerator Denominator is all of that that's left of the square root of 4 times an x plus h. And then minus the 5 plus the square root of 4x minus 5. Now, <clears throat> notice that 0 right there. We can now take the limit here, and in doing so, we can plug 0 in directly because we're not really dividing by 0 there. It's, it's kind of fine. So 0 goes right in for that h value right here, and well, doesn't really do anything. Adding a 0 doesn't change it. So we have a 4 over 4 times x, 4x, and the square roots. Don't forget that. And then we just have 4x minus 5. Don't make the square root too long there, Sean. Don't get greedy. Then we have a plus a square root of 4x minus 5. Well, notice one thing. Square root of 4x minus 5 is added by itself. So we can write this as a 4 over a 2 times a well, square root of 4x minus 5. Let's keep on simplifying. The 2 and the 4 cancel and give us a 2 up top. So now we have a 2 over the square root of 4x minus 5. And guess what? That's our derivative. Good enough for me. Our dy dx, f prime of x, y prime. Either way, our final answer is 2 over square root of 4x minus 5. I hope this video is helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.